Hello and welcome to Zero Cool Gaming and today's TV show review. Today we're going to be talking about a TV show that I loved years ago called Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels is a TV show from 1976 to 1981. There were four seasons and it is one of the best investigative shows that I watched at that time. Charlie's Angels brings a lot to the plate, and it gives a lot more in return. One of the things that I most notably liked about this show was the fact that it gave a cursory overview of many different topics, it covered many different problems, and it never tried to shove it down your throat. It simply reviewed said topics, gave you their opinions on said topics, and allowed you to come to your own conclusions. And that, to me, is good writing. And that is how a show like this should be done. You shouldn't be trying to push your beliefs onto others, neither should you be trying to force an agenda down people's throats. But, of course, we live in an insane world where today that seems to be all they do. So I'm going to read one of these reviews from, well, Woke Culture and show you why they just have no idea. They are clueless as to why and what is attractive. We'll start with this paragraph here. The trio did have other resources, most notably Sabrina's Kate Johnson. Impressive intellect, though it had little currency in the world of the show, Charlie's Angels set up an inverse relationship between beauty and brains. So while Jackson was just as beautiful as Fawcett or Jacqueline Smith, Sabrina was never allowed the show to be as desirable as Jill or Kelly. While Jill proudly displays her nipples for all to see, Sabrina wears turtlenecks. Apparently smart girls can't be sexy. This man is insane. He does not understand the archetype for which he is describing. Well, let me tell you something about the smart girl or the librarian, because I do find that archetype to be very attractive, and so do many men. You will find many a Playboy magazine that have the archetype of the sexy librarian within them. And there is a reason for that. You see, the sexy librarian, dear sir, is sexy because she is reserved, because she is modest, and because she does not spew her intelligence all over you. She simply uses it to her advantage. And men find that attractive. While I am sure that the other two, there are many men out there who found the other two just as attractive, I personally did not. And as I described, there are reasons for that. The other two were too outspoken or too aggressive for me personally, which is why they had the three separate archetypes, so that they could appeal to different types of men in much the same way that anime harem animes do the same thing, and even a larger scale. Most harem animes today have like seven different archetypes that they use so that they have a greater or larger audience of appeal to more men. Charlie's Angels had three archetypes, and just those three archetypes did appeal to most of the men here in this country. That's why they use them. One of my favorite harem animes is actually Kanasuba, which is not truly a harem anime. It is a satire or a parody of harem anime. But I find it hilarious, which is why I enjoyed it. Of course, we're talking here about Charlie's Angels, and Charlie's Angels was done in much the same way. It is a harem show designed to appeal to most American men. 
by providing them with the three archetypes of the most appealing types of women that men find attractive. Very simple, very basic, well done, well written, it's a good show. Unlike, yeah, we're going to get into it, the insanity that is the woke culture today and what it created. The new Charlie's Angels movie. Yes. Unfortunately for us, the new Charlie's Angels movie uh, is a subversion of what Charlie's Angels was. It is not a good show. It was never a good show. In fact, it is a property? No, that's not the right wording. It is the result of woke culture. You see, woke culture cannot create anything, obviously. All of the reboots and rebrands of everything that once existed is an obvious point to that fact. But what woke culture is excellent at is destroying that which was. They can take something that was once great and good and turn it into something that is horrible and unwatchable. This show being a prime example of that fact. As this and many other reviews pointed out, it is a brain-deadening dud. For whatever reason, Hollywood cannot or will not hire good writers for anything today. Either that or that all of the writers within Hollywood have just been infected with this woke insanity, therefore everything they write is insane as well. And unfortunately for us, this was created. And when our children today go to look up Charlie's Angels, most of what they will find on the internet is this insanity, rather than the excellent show that was Charlie's Angels from the 1970s. But it is what it is, and we must deal with what we are given. And hopefully the children of today will go back in time to the 70s to see what a good show looks like rather than watching the insanity that was created in the 2000s. When was this show created? Let's take a look. Do 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 uh, Hmm. Doesn't say. But regardless, it is what it is. More woke insanity. This is not a good show. It has never been a good show, and it never will be. This didn't age well at the time. I guess it was made in 2019, or somewhere around there. It didn't age well for its time, and it won't age well for the future. And I am willing to bet that the 1970s TV show will age well, and will continue to be beloved by many generations to come, because it was a well-written, well-designed, essentially harem investigation show. Well, that's my rant for the day, and I hope you enjoy the rest of yours.